Whenever we buy it's ultimate clay, and I'm on cloud control. Not to pretty much like pretty much spoil anything and stuff. I really got this joke for myself. And this is Super Mega Ops 2, everybody. So in the last episode, through the utter hell of not pleasing the customer with less fail this time, like the idiots we are. We did the Prince of Comet Stars of the Castle Galaxy of War 4 and of Shiver Burn Galaxy. And we also rock another new Galaxy of War 5, aka Slip Sand Galaxy. So in this episode, we are finally going to finish World 5 once and for all this time. I mean, once again. We're once again going to finish World 5 by rocking the new Galaxy that I didn't did in the upper left and do the Castle Galaxy of World 5, aka. The final castle Bowser Jr. Castle Galaxy. It's the last stand against the little pest. But first we need to deal with Boo Moon Galaxy. So let's fly to it. And to get prepared for this hardcore episode, I did pat myself a couple of lives. I got 20 lives. And the first mission of Boo Moon Galaxy is Silver Star's pop-up. Now basically, based on the name of it, bait. Basically, and obviously based on the name of Boo Moon, Boo Moon Galaxy, is that the gimmick of this galaxy is that most, most of its enemies are Boos or those special wily ghosts. And on the first point of the galaxy, yeah, this can be utter hell or this can be actually quite good. You're basically in a very dark maze, you can't see where you're going, you also cannot, might, I think you can also like long jump through this. So you can't pretty much go in the other way and stuff, but I think from the back of my head I know about this maze. You go take a left, take a right, don't get hit by that stupid boo, and there you go, that's the launch star. So that's basically, that's basically how to rock this maze, Planet of the Galaxy, on the first mission. Like, basically you do that same Planet of the Galaxy on both missions, and I think on both of the star missions of this galaxy is going to differ. So, that's basically a curse in the skies for that one. That's basically a dick in the face right there. Now, even though there may be two missions of this galaxy, there is a bonus star mission. There is a bonus star, a hidden star really, in this galaxy. And I think we're in the planet to deal with it, in, this, in the second planet of the galaxy. And oh, I thought I was going to die, and I thought I was going to hide in the sky. Also, when it comes to this happening thing, you need to collect all these notes. And or bust out three one up. So just in, so we actually do get in stuff, just in case you like die and stuff. There are three one ups, and like minusing that out of like the one death. You pretty much make a two life profit and stuff, so this, as much as this is really a return of the booze galaxy right here, it's not all that threatening with those one ups there. If you, in case, die, this poison water right, however, can actually insta kill you if you fall in it. There's a common metal for this galaxy, and then there is a hidden star right about this time. And the snake will actually make it so it turn all the way up there, which will lead you to this one. And this little block snake over here is going to go super fast, and you need to follow it. Oh no, get out the way, you boo! Get out the way, you boob! Get out the way, you boob! No! You stupid boob! You should have got out of my way! How do you did that, homie? <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm referencing. I'm just really talking about this game's strange stuff and feel content for while doing it. I thought we was not gonna give this loser less fail. Okay, fine. Yeah, you know, I think it also reached for those two. I think with that one long, long jump that I was going to do and stuff, plus a spin, you can actually, like, um, pretty much get those notes ASAP and stuff. So I don't worry about that. I don't worry about that stuff. Oh, Crackamonga! Oh, Crackamonga! Because I'm the target of your life! I don't know what the hell I'm referencing of your life! I really need to chop this for my life! I really need to run this for my life! Okay, I should stop it. Oh, I mean, okay, this time with more skill, Clayton. With more skill, Ultimate Clayton. Oh, get the stupid star! Yes! That 
that's the bonus star of the galaxy. I mean, the hidden star of the galaxy. And we got a star. The hidden star of Booming Galaxy already. So that's how to rock it. Awesome. And uh, the name of the hidden star of the galaxy is also called the Star in the Sinking Swamp. Oh, so that place is also called a swamp. Jeez, I keep on forgetting about that. And after getting a star from the galaxy, we now got to place a comet star that will deal with next episode on Slip Sand Galaxy. So, yeah. And nothing else changed and stuff. I guess I'll just cut back to our war and Blue Moon Galaxy and the real deal mandatory mission of Blue Moon Galaxy. And I'll see you guys back. See you guys, backers. Backers? Packers? Patsies. Whatever. So soon. Oh, speaking of which, I can actually do this star mission as Luigi just to put it out there and stuff. Just to put it out there and stuff. Because now I can also do that after rocking pretty much a star in this galaxy. You can now rock this galaxy as Luigi if you want to. So now I'll see you guys back. Okay, back here. You just need to take the launch star and I'll hit you over there. We already got a copy of this galaxy. And this planet galaxy is basically a very small planet. That's basically the moon. Get it? Since this is called Boom Moon Galaxy. Okay, fine. For those who cannot get the name of this galaxy based on this planet, are fired! Because let's fail this time, idiot! Okay, never mind. I did that last episode. So, in this final planet of this galaxy for the first star, is that everything looks very flat. Um, interesting. Oh, crap. I need to get these boosts to stop being douches! So I can show this. Well, I can still show it even though with them blocking the screen. With your sensor. And even though everything is actually high right now and stuff, you can still use your sensor with your star stuff. In order to collect star bits, like all the way crazy up in the air and all and all directions and stuff. Before doing this one thing. That might pretty much help you out in order to get the green stuff and stuff. And that's just a little tip for those star bit munchers, those star bit getters, whatever. Not kind of myself. The thing that you need to do is that if you actually ground pound that, it'll pretty much make the whole thing pop up like a pop up, pop up book. Everything pretty much pop out, but there is a time limit. I bet the time limit's done, then everything will just pop out. Everything will just pop out! Because you really need to pop out! Ah, uh, crack, you Why did I reference stuff from? Kitty got pants, whatever! Uh, 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 I need to get that one because the one of us also in there. Indiana Jones style! Spins the star and booyah! Haha, -ha, ultimate cleanest. Ultimate in this game! Especially with no frame disruption because my capture card is now full of good. Because once again, put it in! Put it in! In the freezer while getting the star, yo. And already two stars in one video in ten minutes. Not jinxing it. I'm just gonna say right now I got like two stars this episode in like the first ten minutes of this episode, but I'm not going to jinx it. I'm not. I'm just saying that this is two stars in ten minutes. Luigi, I have <laughs> Luigi have letter for the first time. I got a few odds and ends I need taken care of. If you don't need mine a little hard work, come find me. I'm working over us in Space Storm Galaxy to make it worth your while. So this is basically the bonus star of the galaxy that I was pretty much talking about of Space Storm Galaxy, but we're gonna deal with that next episode as well. Hey, it's like the first game that Luigi get mail instead of Mario. <laughs> hey, bro! I'm hey. Wow, is Luigi seriously turning toad? Oh, God, never mind. Hey, bro, I'm all over the place these days. Splendid the universe. Next time you see me out there, talk to me and I leap. Let me leap into action. Okay, catch you later, bro. I was actually trying to make a fart noise with there, but I can't do it real quick. But anyways, going back into our process of process, 
We got the second star mission of Blue Moon Galaxy in order to finish this galaxy already off and then it's head to battle studios. Head to battle studios. And the second star mission of Blue Moon Galaxy is hunting the Howling Tower. Hunting the Howling Tower. And in a way, this second star mission, just like many st second star missions of galaxies in this game, this one is not all that threatening at all. I also forgot that there's also a bonus area in this galaxy in the first planet of galaxy that's basically a big maze, but I don't think I'll be aiming for that. Even though this is going to be epically hard because I think the maze pretty much changed compared to the second mission, unless it's remained the same. Okay, let me just check. I need to take a right, do this, do Yep, it kind of changed because you did not see that awesome looking Bowser Jr. statue anywhere. No, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't saw that shite. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm going to get completely lost, but I think this is also the... Also, I'm having a whole lot of booze. Yeah, getting lost in this maze, in this maze plan of the galaxy is also a curse, is an extra curse in stars because you basically got a whole lot of boosts following you while you're lost trying to find your way, and they can really put a number on you. Like, seriously, if you don't get the hell away from them, and I am lost, and I am doomed by all oh, those boosts are trying to kill me. Ow! Well, even though there's some money lying around, so I'm not all that in danger and there are also star bits popping out of the maze making it extra crazy okay time to play some basketball time to play some basketball time to play some basketball against you blues because i dribble on your ace okay but just to tell the truth i'm lost and i I think the other direction is where I also need to go, so I feel derpy while doing it. Nope, it's a one-up. That's not, that's still useful. Okay, let me just check. Man, as much as I really practiced this, ep the stars I were gonna do in this episode quite well, I should have also took notes about this specific planet of the galaxy. At least I made it to the bonus area though. And you basically need to destroy all these guys before time runs out, or before you die! That can also happen. It's not gonna happen this way. It's not gonna happen this way, though. Good thing they actually give you loads of time and stuff, because the secret into destroying these guys is just headbind them, which I'm doing a bad job in, so I can't even get the three- Can I at least get one special bonus hidden somewhere? Right in this game, jeez. You never accomplish anything if you don't get it right in the first place. But unless you get it right, then whatever you do, don't hold back. Okay, never mind. I have no idea what I'm referencing. Boo! Boob! Boob! You boob! Get the hell away from me. Dang, I'm lost, and I'm down to one life, and I'm really going to enjoy my last life. Yeah, good thing I can use my spin to get the hell away from you guys. Dude! Dude. 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 There. Dude. Dude. Dude! 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 This is full of doo-doo. Jeez, I wonder what the... I thought there was a secret engine there. And uh, anyways, even though you have a whole lot of boost in your pathway, just spin out. Just pretty much spin them on all the world and around stuff and they are not. Okay, sorry for that weird cut, I gotta do something for my mom. Oh my gosh, when it comes to me cutting this episode just to do something for my mom, even though I did not lose a life yet, or I pretty much did one, even though I did not lose a whole lot of lives and I'm doing somewhat good in this episode, and actually not being bothered by the LPS curse because of my mom. I can't have a freaking perfect episode for crack in this LP. This is bull ass. And to make things worse, I'm lost and haunted by booze. 
Uh, I actually kind of found a little glitchy in there. But once again, so, even though I'm very pissed I cannot get a freaking perfect episode in this LP. Yeah, sorry about that little weird cut right there and stuff. I should have pretty much also used a weird cut in order to find my way because I am lost in money! Yes! At least money make my world go round! Literally. Okay, now, let me see here. You know what, let me just start from scratch. Okay, let me see. Is there anything over here? And sorry that I'm playing this blindly, but you can easily get lost in the in this maze of the galaxy in the second star mission, just to be saying right now. Because in order per to proceed, you need to find a green pipe, but I can't I'm not even seeing a green pipe. Uh, oh wow, my auto commentaries also keep oh, uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 I totally forgot about this. Uh, 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 uh. I was about to say that my own commentary for once is keeping up with this video commentary. Unless it's still making cuts. Other than that, I gotta do extra stupid editing. And you boobs better get away from me. You boobs better get away from me. Get the hell away from me, Tyler. Jeez. Okay, I should just stop. Uh. Okay. And I'm a little derpy because you can also tell by the footprints. Oh, oh my gosh! That of uh, places you didn't go to, like my footprints did not tell me that I went over here. I already did. Yeah, that can mostly happen and stuff. And you pretty much like can use your own footprints in order to find your way. And ah, uh, that's where you need to go to into that pipe. And let me just pop. Dude, stop! Stop with the boobs! Cause that's what I need to go to into that pipe. And uh, if only I can find a way into it. I wanna get into it! I wanna go! I wanna go and pee! I wanna go to the bathroom! No, I get in the bathroom! Okay, let me just see here. I think you need to go down and take a right. And find Dilly Squat! At least squat, you sons of bees. Uh, you know what? I'm pretty much gonna cut to where I might find my way because I'm just definitely lost. And I think I just showed every foot of this area except for the place I need to go. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. Okay. Uh... Oh! Oh! Wow! Balls. Yeah, if you also kind of find a bookcase at an area also, I think it also means that it'll just open the door. I totally forgot about that. And this is the place of the green pipe. Perfect. I mean, to the warp pipe. Perfect. There's a checkpoint, and inside the galaxy in 2D form, you find a boom mushroom in order to transform you into Boom Mario. This is also a throwback power for Mario in the first game that you can actually press A to float. And your control pad to pretty much go anywhere. And change the remote to vanish and turn transparent. Which can also be useful in order to dodge some attacks. Unfortunately for me, that did not happen like that. I feel uncontemptful. But yeah, that's how Boom Arrow works. Now, there's also this fun Easter egg. Well, it's not really an Easter egg and stuff. There's this fun little Easter egg and some description. But like in the first game, you also pretty much also got like booze. You got booze like aiming at you as Boo Mario in the first game. And in the f oh whoa, whoa, that almost got cream over there. And like in the first game as Boo Mario, when you pre when booze pretty much see you as Boo Mario, they actually fell fall in love with you. Yeah, booze actually kind of got these little hearts on them. They're they're blushing and stuff. Because, like, they're in love with you, like, in the first game as Boo Mario. It was dumb funny, actually. And I don't know if it's still in this game, actually. I, I can't remember if it's in this game as well or not. There's also a web right here just in case you lose life and got the checkpoint, so it doesn't count as a net loss. But I actually kind of find that a little funny and a little bit of a good description of the first game and stuff. That, like, Boo's actually fall in love with you as Boo Mario. Oh my gosh, that is weird and funny. <laughs> 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 anyway.
anyways, go straight up there, dodging these ghosts, and there's your second star. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Now, the other funny thing about this is that during practice and stuff, like, I accidentally hit, like, a ghost as Boomerang when trying to get the star, and, like, I accidentally, like, and then, like, I hit, Ma Mario pretty much fell to the star once he got hurt. And I think this happened to many players of this game, that they pretty much got hurt and then get the star on that one specific star in the galaxy. Because you basically are on top of the star and then you like fall all the way down on it and stuff. It's quite funny. Hey, white mushroom, huh? That's pretty weird. The yeah, stuff you're fighting is pretty weird, but I guess that's th just the university you live in, right? You are a jerk and a fine young man! A fine old fat man, aka Luma. Okay, for, never mind about that. That's just weird. So, we got the blue mushroom in our inventory on our engine and stuff, so that's awesome. So, doing completing, completing Boom Moon Galaxy in one episode, getting that out of the way, rocking its three stars, getting its common medal, without further ado, ignoring that co price of comet of Slip Sand Galaxy, and ignoring that bonus star of Space Storm Galaxy from way back and stuff. You can actually just see it from all the way over there. From World 5, you actually go to the pipe and actually go back here. And yeah, you also get the gear mode thing over here. Knowing both of those things, it's time to end Bowser Jr. once and for all in its last stand in this final Bowser Jr. Castle Galaxy called... Bowser Jr.'s Boom Bunker. Game on, Bowser Jr. Woo! Okay. And with, like, my 33 lies, as crazy as it sounds, Bowser Jr.'s Booms Day Machine. And as I say, this final boss fight against Bowser Jr. can be a little hardcore. Well, it's hardcore. And you can actually see the boss right there. Well, then his final phase is hardcore. And hey, look! Special Easter egg about this? Second boss, the second Bowser Jr. boss of this game still in here, yeah. After taking a Whopper beating, it has its place in the final Bowser Jr. Castle Galaxy, aka Mega Hammer. Long live the famous Bowser Jr. boss fight, Mega Hammer. And this. I wonder what these toes are to say. Ah! Yeah, when before he, it launched a cannon stuff, it actually just said it. I wonder if it's broken. Or if it's broken or not. There's a dice here in order to get a one. So just in case you unluckily! 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 Oh, oh, oh no! Unluckily lose a life here! Then you can not get a net loss. Oh, there's the other toes, and I also need shield recovery. Oh, no. Talk to you. This robot thing looks like it could reactivate any second. Yikes! It did just now. Sure, sure. Let's sense danger. All you toes always sense danger. Even when something's not dangerous. Like, I gotta say, all the toes. Well, not all. Well, most of the toes, other than the, other than the smart toe with the, the smart blue toe with like the glasses and the tow bridge captain over there they all pretty much think there's i mean they're all so scared of pretty much these things and stuff i didn't really understand that and stuff because oh 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 no that's the perfect combo if you're on that arm when you actually get hit there is a chance you can fall off and yeah very painful. don't worry it's broken no it's not jeez that's painful but once again, there is that special... Oh, boop, 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 boop. Dang it! There is that special die, so if you actually lose a life, and actually get a die, I mean, a one-up out of that die, then you can pretty much replace that death that you just got, making no net I mean, net loss! I can't speak, and I can't play either! This is balls! At least I didn't die from that, you sons of bees! So what now? Uh, let's just go back here. 
because in the first planet of this long galaxy, you need to have a bullet bill follow you, actually. As I did not explain there, and just really was suffering from the unluckily wombo combo loss of my lives. I mean, they didn't have a bullet bill follow you. I need an armlet. Oh, good thing I actually landed here, or else I would have got crazy. Me have a bullet bill follow you to the closed gate over there and have it destroy the gate and pretty well destroy that circuit um that gate over there. And if you do that, then that cannon will actually be available to you to launch you to the next planet of galaxy. So that's what how you gotta rock this first planet of galaxy. Oh, can I dodge it? Because that's not gonna go anywhere, that's just gonna kill me. You get the hell away from me! Uh, okay, let's do this right. Let's do this with less fail this time. Because we're not idiots. Oh, there's money just in case. I totally forgot. Uh, dang it, I can't... Like, the tricky part of... Oh, my God. Uh, never mind. Never mind about them. They might be annoying, but just don't mind. Like, the tricky part about this is that basically his arm is basically like all circular shape and stuff. And like it takes an extra jump in order to pretty much get it. I think I got it right now this time. Yeah! Awesome. And get to this cannon. And you can either launch to that pole if you're that crazy. You can actually launch at one of the hammer rolls and actually kill them and stuff. Which can actually do happen and stuff. Or you can aim at this target right here. And gain an extra one up plus applause and confetti in it with it being blue. Basically, on this on this next part of the galaxy, you need to destroy these boomerang bros. No time flat, easy at all. And the lot starts in the next part of the galaxy will open. But before we do that, there is a life stream in this pool right here, as you may saw when he's trying to talk it through. So yeah, awesome. Okay. And this is where we're gonna get the room. No, 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 no. Because in this next planet galaxy, right here, there's your checkpoint, and you can need to put, and you need to aim at that. There's a, there's a common metal of this galaxy right here. You can actually aim at that. It might live if you're that crazy. And you can might call this somewhat of a speed ultimate speed running tactic because you can actually just skip. Going over there, which I think that might actually give you a one up if you do that, I have no idea. You can skip aiming for those red things over there if you're that crazy, or if you're that crazy and cocky, you can actually aim at those blue things over there and land on them and land on them if you do it while they're offset. I don't think I did it right. I think I did it right. Yes, sir, I'm awesome. And now I need to dodge this. I need all these. Not awesome. Still not awesome. Still not awesome. Still not blossom awesome! Okay, where am I at? It's a good thing that these cloud shrooms are also spread everywhere and stuff. You can pretty much use your clouds rather than just the moving platform in order to pretty much like get the common metal like that and go in advance on. So that it's another way to deal with this planet galaxy. Oh no! I thought I was gonna hit that! That's so trollish. Round pound this, and with the this large star, you're finally in the final planet of this galaxy against Bowser Jr. I gotta say, this is a hot machine he got here. But well, Scott, you for like for mocking me with your dance. My dad's gonna get angry if I let you get another grand star. Time to break out my boom stage machine. I'll just relax in my comfy cockpit and watch it go BOOM! Because it go BOOM and jump for the wop of the BOOM and the BOOM! Oh, I can't believe I just referenced my old... My dad, my own dad's old hip-hop music! What the F? Speaking of dads, because of Bowser Jr. Like, we really need to go BOOMIN! Jeez, seriously, that's like one of his hip-hop music, oh my gosh. What the hell is wrong with me? So this is basically the final Bowser Jr. boss fight, aka his, uh, AKA his hardcore boomsday machine, even though it's not busting out the boom and just busting out the shots, or the sparks, or the watts. I'm trying to make puns out of them, but I can't. And what it's going to do is I basically launch those and stuff in the floor and basically got those fire lines, which are my damage if you're not careful enough. 
And all that in the first phase. In the second phase, they actually get a new attack. This. He attract clouds near him and stuff, and while he's all shocked and stuff. The shock, while he pretty much attracts those clouds to you, can also hurt. And, uh, yeah, as Cloud Mario is not a happy sight. Uh, so you gotta wait for a second here, because if you do it while he's shocking something, you'll pretty much get hurt. Now, it, I pretty much love this final phase of this boss right here, because it's a freaking tank now! It can move, and it's more higher! And some people thought, hey, I might get crushed by this. No, you don't. It may be a, pretty much the biggest tank ever, because of Bowser Jr., maybe a tower tank. And it may be very heavy, but you don't get crushed. You only take one damage. Now I say, that's quite weird of you not getting crushed by a big tank. Not getting instantly killed at all, yet losing one damage. I also kind of find that quite weird. So, but hey... Nintendo logic. Nintendo logic, my good says. And can I kill this dude because I'm dead near you? Booyah! Did I seriously totally rock against Bowser Jr. that easily over his final boss fight against him? Then he got launched out. What a wimp. What a techno wimp! You're not better than Chugga Calm War me! You're just a techno wimp, you sorry a Bowser Jr. And out of beating him, there's a fifth Grand Star! And you got a Grand Star! Awesome. Freaking awesome. And with the power of the Grand Star, the final world to Bowser is open, aka portal to the next world, actually. And yeah, got our grand star added to it, got the common medal, got the star bits, got the money, whatevers. Okay. That's the fifth grand star. I have a feeling you could do it. Next up is the sixth world, and you know that Bowser monster going to put up an even stronger fight now. So let's get those power stars and save your special one. The big fight awaits. The helm is yours, Captain. And off to Mario in the helm, standing on it. And uh, with the star pla star planet going up and making that awesome Chuja Chan with Rainbow coming out, get ready to go into the most craziest world in this entire game. Graphic art like. A big black hole. No sexual pun intended. <laughs> that actually was quite crazy. Let's get him this time, of course. So yeah, this is world six. Craziest world in the game because it's just a big black hole and no Tyler attacking two cans. Screw you off of this pun. Because I mean look at it! Even when going outside in the planet, it's a big, black, awesome hole. That just sucks everything. <laughs> I'm still laughing about it because it's just so stupid. I mean, like, when it comes to this world being an entire big black hole, and when it comes to this being like a star spaceship of a planet, a planet with the face of Mario, we could be actually getting sucked into that black hole and it could be insta game over with our save files delete. I mean, how are we not pretty much getting sucked by that? This is crazy. That's massively crazy. That is massively, massively crazy that we're not getting sucked by it. Like, seriously, it's so big and we're just so small compared to it. And it's just so amazing and awesome. Just to add that, and we're not getting stuck to it at all. But, like, both, but I actually really like the, how the black hole is in, like, the world map and in the grand world map. It looks quite realistic. I mean, look at it. Like, look at it up close with the Starship Air scene and stuff. It looks quite awesome. I, I really love it about the, I pretty much like the art design of the black hole in this game and stuff. It's quite realistic and awesome. 
And even though going into like Mario's view of it, it uh, it's still quite cool, but still a little scary because we should be getting sucked into it. Yet not, it's quite very nice and well portrait and stuff. But yeah, that's it for this episode. Pretty much on the final Bowser Jr. Castle Galaxy of this game. We took down the little pest Bowser Jr. once and for all. And also rocking the last galaxy other than that, aka Boo's Moon Galaxy with its three stars. So, next time, we are going to be doing the Praiser Comet Star of Slip Sand Galaxy along with the bonus star of Space Storm Galaxy, aka Guillermo's Request, right here. While also rocking our first galaxy of the final world of this game against the mighty final battle against Bowser of World 6, aka Multi Monster Galaxy. And also, if you actually look at close and stuff, there is our final Luma that costs like 1,000 something cold star, I think it's 1,800. But I don't have to deal with that yet. Let, I mean, yet! 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 So, if you like this episode, subscribe to my channel! Big, big, well, if you really like this episode, since I actually thought it, it was quite awesome and fun, and with no epic fail or stupid fail at all, subscribe to my channel! Big old button! Like this video! Watch my other videos! And if you like them too, hit a like on them! Well, if you're satisfied with them, hit a like on them! I kind of pause and stupidly for a sec. This is Ultimate Clay, this is Super Mario Galaxy 2, and I swear, we're still alive, even though this is a hardcore big black hole not being sexual about it. See you guys then. Ciao.